So I got a campaign email this week, not from the Conservatives, not from the NDP or the Liberals, but by a US-funded lobby group writing to me about the Canadian federal election. Here, let me read a line from it. Over the last 10 years, the Harper Conservatives have clung to power through a desperate recipe of fear-mongering and divide-and-conquer politics. <laughs> Whoa! Totally does sound like the NDP or the Liberals, right? But it's not. Here's some more. Harper wants a long election, we'll give him one, unquote. Whoa, how butch. Who's talking this tough? Is it maybe Elizabeth May's Green Party, Jill Decep and the Bloc? No, no. Here, keep guessing the name of this campaign group. I'll read some more. Quote, we've already made over 4,300 phone calls into conservative swing ridings. Local teams are canvassing multiple times a week in 12 ridings. Our sophisticated election website is ready to launch, unquote. To give up? Well, here's the thing, it's not a political party, as I mentioned. It's not a Canadian third party group at all. Like, it's not some Canadian labor union or some other Canadian pressure group. It is a group called Lead Now, and they received funding from secret U.S. donors. Now, I believe that left-wingers have just as much a right to participate in Canadian elections as right-wingers do, and I don't think that only political parties should be able to campaign. I think all Canadians should. It's a free speech. It's political freedom. But foreigners? Seriously, foreign-funded lobby groups interfering in our Canadian election? Surely there's a law against that. But that's the thing about Lead Now. They are funded by U.S. lobby groups. For example, here's the San Francisco-based Tides Foundation chipping in $25,000. Now, the other day, I tweeted to Lead Now asking them to reveal their foreign donors. I asked them how much money they get from the U.S. and from whom. I mean, aren't you curious? Is any of the money from Barack Obama's Democrats? How about from left-wing billionaires like George Soros or even from competitors to our oil sands or to pipelines like, say, Warren Buffett and his railway, which has made a lot of money off of blocking pipelines? I mean, I'm curious who in the United, in the United States would fund a Canadian election campaign to defeat Stephen Harper. Aren't you curious what Americans are trying to pull these strings? So I tweeted about it. I said, it was weird for Americans to campaign in Canada. And to my surprise, Lead Now answered back. And they didn't deny it. They said that 80% of their funding is from Canadians. Now, I don't know if I believe them. They are keeping their finances secret. But even if they're overstating their Canadian support, I suspect it's probably more accurate to say that 80% of the individual number of checks are for, for, from Canadians, but th those 20% of American checks, those are much, much larger, like the $25,000 Tides check. Anyways, even if what they're saying is true, they're admitting that only 80% of their money is from small donors in Canada. Now, we know they get large checks from Americans, like the Tides Foundation. By the way, no Canadian corporation would be allowed to donate $25,000 to a candidate or party, but Tides can, I guess. They're above the law here. And Lead Now won't tell us who gave them how much money to attack Stephen Harper or why they gave the money. Hey, how much media attention has this received from the mainstream media? Zero. Of course. Uh, but remember a few years ago when Canada was in the middle of a gun control debate? Look at this five alarm fire story that ran on CBC's The National. We've learned the NRA isn't just watching the Canadian debate, it's been actively involved in trying to influence the outcome. The NRA bills itself as the most powerful lobby group in the world, and it's been helping opponents of the registry here for at least 10 years. So I think the real question for Canadians is are they comfortable with an American lobby group having a role in what's become a very polarized Canadian debate. Are there any laws being broken here? No, we found no indication that anything illegal is afoot, although the NRA's own charter says it can't spend money abroad, but it is willing to do strategic advice and the sorts of things that we've laid out. So if you didn't quite get it, the NRA in the United States, the National Rifle Association, wasn't actually campaigning in Canada's gun debates. They weren't spending money here, they had no staff here, they were merely watching, observing, and yet that is a huge alarmist story on the CBC about American interference. But San Francisco's Tides Foundation 
pumps in huge checks from confidential original donors and crickets. Hey, what do you think Elections Canada has to say about foreign money in our campaign? Well, if it were NRA money or Koch brothers money targeting the Liberals or the NDP, Elections Canada would be investigating and having press conferences and calling it cheating. But this is Elections Canada and Lead Now supports the Liberals and the NDP. So Elections Canada will go back to having a nice long nap. For the Rebel.media, I'm Ezra Levant.